Hi, this is Chris Bacon again. Uh, we're doing another unboxing video and I also want to explain a little bit how our 1995 Dodge Stealth project really got out of hand. Uh, originally we were doing a suspension swap and now we have one of the turbochargers which each one is good for about 550 horsepower. Uh, so we have kind of went off the rails but that's what it's all about, right? Uh, this is a GTX 2867 uh, Generation 2 from Garrett. Uh, this turbocharger is a billet unit. It also is a dual ceramic ball bearing. Uh, it features the latest aerodynamics from Garrett and this will still spool very excellent on our engine but provide pretty much as much power as we're going to need. Uh, we should be able to run uh, 30 to 35 pounds of boost on this and it will hold that to 8,000 RPM. Uh, we're going to post up some pictures of the compressor chart with our engine demand lines on it and that will show you kind of how we discovered that and how we found that this is an excellent fit for our engine. Uh, Garrett offers these in a couple of different purchasing options. Uh, this is what is known as the SuperCore. Uh, all that means is it is the compressor housing and the uh, CHRA, the center housing rotating assembly, uh, together without a turbine housing. Uh, we also, they offer it with a turbo turbine housing. They have several turbine housing options. We can get a T25, 0.63, a 0.86. Uh, you can also get uh, some V-band options. And we can also get um, some T3 options. Uh, very popular with the Dodge Stealth and 3000 GT platform is a T3 options. You can get a 0.63 or even a 0.48 for that. Uh, we have a connection with ATP Turbo to where we can get the 0.48 housings. And that is what the Super Core is really good for because you're not buying a turbine housing that you really don't need. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box. Uh, the Super Core has actually come in this fairly compact box here because there's no turbine housing in there. And so it's quite a compact unit. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, just cut this open. You want to obviously be careful opening these type of boxes. Um, don't cut yourself, but the main thing is, since there's no turbine housing involved in here, uh, the turbine wheel, while it is padded around styrofoam and things like that, it's a little bit exposed. And so, you know, don't, don't be too rough on these getting them out of the box. You drop this on the floor right now, you could put a ding in the turbine housing that will render this turbocharger inoperable. Uh, to prevent that, Garrett has some molded foam in here. And uh, here is our turbocharger. This is also packed in plastic. Uh, very important when you're working with turbochargers, the oiling system in these is extremely sensitive. If you got a couple grains of sand in this turbocharger's oiling system, you could burn it up. Uh, this is a ball bearing turbo, which means it's built to very precise specifications internally. And it also means uh, they can't traditionally be rebuilt. Uh, so if you damage the bearings in here from poor handling, um, you, you might end up buying a whole new turbocharger and you wouldn't want to do that. So that's why you keep this in the plastic until you're putting it on the car, until you're ready to get it in the car. Uh, keep the dirt out of it. Uh, this contains some instructions, some basic information about how to hook up the coolant and the oil lines and some precautions to take. Um, you know, if you're like most people buying these type of tur turbochargers, you probably don't need this, but it wouldn't hurt to take a look at it. Uh, so here's the unit. Uh, as we said, this is a super core. Uh, so this contains the compressor housing. Uh, the compressor housing is unique to the GTX style turbos. Uh, you can't swap these with an existing GT turbo. Um, but the turbine housing is actually the same. Uh, so if you have a GT2871, for example, uh, you could swap in a GTX series, 28 series, uh, like this uh, 2867, uh, without changing your turbine housing. And so that could save you some money there too. Uh, this also has the whole uh, CHRA, which is uh, the bearing housing, which supports both water cooling and oil feed here. Uh, you're going to want to run a restrictor on this, uh, typically 35, 40 thousandths of an inch restrictor is what a lot of people run on their oil inputs. If you run your oil input straight off of your engine oil pressure, uh, you'll probably end up blowing smoke because you're going to overwhelm the ball bearings. They don't require as much lubrication as a tr traditional journal bearing. Um, most turbos do, but you can see here this spins extremely easily. Uh, the ball bearings provide less friction and uh, they also provide up to three times as much thrust resistance. And what this is gonna do is allow you to run higher pressure ratios safely with these turbos, and they can experience a little bit of surge and not be damaged as easily as a general bearing turbo. Um, this has a three inch inlet, 
You can see this also has an anti-surge housing, uh, which further pushes your compressor mat to the left, which means this is going to spool a little bit better and be a little more stabler uh, at lower engine speeds and possibly at part throttle operation. Uh, so thanks a lot for checking out this video. We're going to do a real brief unboxing of a unit that also contains a turbine housing, um, but this again is the Supercore GTX 2867 turbocharger. Uh, we sell these through the website and we will be an authorized distributor of these and so you're guaranteed you're getting a genuine Garrett item.